February 4, 2007. The Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts prepare for Super Bowl 41 as fans pour into Miami's Dolphin Stadium. On the first play from the line of scrimmage, the Colts take to the air, completing a 40-yard bomb to Reggie Wade. Immediately after, Peyton Manning finds Marvin Harrison, who dashes into the end zone like a crazed flying squirrel for a touchdown, just 39 seconds into the game. With things starting to look grim for Chicago, they fumble the ball on the ensuing kickoff, putting it back in Indianapolis's hands. A red flag is thrown, the play is challenged, and the call reversed. The Bears have the ball again, but are unable to convert on a third down. They have to settle for a field goal after a 61-yard drive. Hoping to drop their opponents like a bad crack habit before the end of the first quarter, the Colts storm back up field. Quarterback Peyton Manning play fakes and drops another long pass to Harrison for a touchdown the AFC Pro Bowl duo dominating the first half. Chicago desperately needs to score before the half, as Manning's aerial bombardment seems to be firing on all cylinders. At the end of the first quarter, the score stands. Colts 14, Bears 3. The Bears focus on their running game early in the second quarter but Indianapolis's 4-3 defense continually stops them in their tracks. After two failed possessions, they turn the ball over deep in their own territory. Fearing another touchdown pass, the Bears turn up their defensive prowess. But the Colts are like whatever, and Adam Vinatieri still kicks a 39-yard field goal. With the score now 17-3, the Bears need to get back in the game. A holding call after the kickoff puts them in poor position to do so. Then, a miracle happens. A pass play puts the ball into the hands of wide receiver Mushin Mohammed, and he sprints downfield for an 87-yard touchdown to close the gap, 17-10. Finally, Chicago fans have reason to stop whining. However, at the two-minute warning, the Colts' Harrison answers back with another touchdown catch, his third of the game. Trying to stay within striking distance, the Bears reinvigorate their defensive line. With 20 seconds left until half, Chris Harris intercepts the ball, putting the Bears within scoring distance. But the team can only muster a field goal before the break. We go into halftime with the Colts looking hella good. With Chicago unable to convert a first down at the start of the third quarter, the Colts are left yet again in scoring position. A field goal early on by Adam Vinatieri pushes the score to 27-13, and things look extremely bleak again for the Bears, and the third quarter expires with no more scoring from either side. At the onset of the fourth quarter, the Colts look to extend their already commanding lead. With four minutes and 13 seconds left, Manning throws his fourth touchdown pass of the game, this time finding Reggie Wade, who frolics like a glassy-eyed deer in the end zone. However, on the ensuing kickoff return, the Bears prove they're not finished yet. NFC rookie pro bowler Devin Hester receives the ball on the one-yard line, then shreds through the defense, and high steps it all the way into the end zone. With momentum shifting to the Bears, Chicago holds the Colts' offense and then moves the ball to the red zone. An eight-yard touchdown pass from Grossman to Muhammad brings the score to 34-27. It looks like the game's finale will be exciting. With a minute and 40 seconds left, Rex Grossman is injured. He cries like a little bitch and is replaced by Brian Greasy. Greasy takes to the air, but Colt safety Mike Doss says no you didn't and intercepts with only 117 left on the clock. 
The Bears are forced to watch while their opponents kneel on the ball and run out the clock. Chicago fans boo, and the seconds tick away to the inevitable game over for their beloved team. The Indianapolis Colts emerge as the victors in Super Bowl 41, with the final score 34-27.